What's up, everybody? It's Mike Bednarski from Ginkgo Balboa. Thanks to Music OT Future for having me on to talk about Balloon Duty, our new EP that came out on July 28th, 2023. So, I love when a project is done, whether it's a single or a collection, music video, what have you. I love reminiscing on where the idea began and then what it turned into. Balloon Duty the sentiment of it, a sequel to our first EP from 2020, same party vibe, we ban genres here and there, things are musically accessible and have a swagger, but hopefully not too much. It's supposed to be fun, you know, and it's supposed to be relatable because we're these scrappy dudes who are hanging out and there's no judgment here. Everybody, you know, hang out pull up a beach chair and sit with us for a while. So I thought of Balloon Duty from the beginning when we were developing an exoskeleton, Ben Mossbaum and myself, the other half of Ginkgo Balboa. I was thinking it would be a sequel to that, to the first EP, but with a little bit, you know us now, there's a recognizability. So we don't have to approach our music in the same way. It's it's really like okay you know what the recipe is but now we're just gonna we're gonna make a different flavor and it's fun to think about so balloon duty the title was something that Ben came up with and I loved it immediately I think we were just throwing around cool phrases and we both write the same way when it comes to certain lyrical couplets like I have notes in my phone from 10 years ago just words I thought sounded cool next to each other, and I'd like to use them someday. So Balloon Duty, in that case, was something that he wrote down, and he mentioned it to me, and I latched onto it as a potential title for our sophomore EP. And I would bring it up, and it took time for him to warm up to it, I think, as what would become the final title. But once we did have that, it helped become the driving force in how we approach the songs that were going to go on it, what the songs were going to be about. But I love thinking about the album art because even though we ended up using this incredible photo, this design of a clown that's being introspective after a long day's work overlooking the Pacific Ocean, I'm happy with that. But it started out, we were going to have like a kid's birthday party at a park and there's like a half-eaten cake and a little girl on a table and like a, a party that just dispersed or you know it would be indicative of an event after all the fun is done but the mess is still there you know, the aftermath. And we were talking about that. Is there a balloon in the photo? I kind of wanted there to be, but then we were like, no, maybe there shouldn't be. And you know, you're not, you're not telling. You're showing, not telling. It's like writing 101 and we can do that without having the balloon there. So we thought about that. And then it'd be a close up of the cake instead. So like a bird's eye view of the cake and, and things to cut it and ribbons thrown about, that kind of stuff. And then that idea morphed into, oh, maybe there could be like a uh, Gen Z or millennial girl at a party using a helium tank or blowing up a balloon and we would have a balloon. And it's kind of like, not to sound derivative, but hot girl at a party with the balloon. So we're talking about that. And then eventually we settled on, well, we revisited what was a success about our first EP. And it was very much that every man appeal. So we thought maybe we could just, so on the, on the cover of the first EP, it was us and it was showing 
that we're hanging out. Hey, we don't own a fancy house. It's an apartment complex. Who cares? You know, come hang out. That's that sort of thing. That was showing us, introducing everyone to us. But now we could introduce everybody to our fans or to the people we're speaking of in our music. So it's almost like we're showing who we represent. And a lot of thoughts went through my mind once we once we hammered out ideas and then we settled on that one. I was like, okay, now the juices are flowing. So let's get someone in a profession that is, you know, obvious, distinct, but not, it, it, it's common, not everywhere, but in LA it would be common. So an entertainer of some kind, maybe like a celebrity lookalike or something on Hollywood and Vine, and they're getting on the train or they're getting in their car, they're ending their day. I wanted there to be a sign of, they're doing this thing, they're not thrilled about it, and their personal life is affecting their work and vice versa, and we're showcasing that with just one photo. I wanted that to be evident. So, although we talked about, like, you know, there's, there's some copyright stuff there too. You know, you can't have Batman, the, the guy who plays Batman on the street, you know, smoking a cigarette before he gets on the subway. But I was thinking, I kept thinking train, but that's also my New York roots. So it's much more LA to have that person in a car. So then we're like, okay, can we get traffic? And then someone who's dressed up as a generic character in traffic or about to be, maybe like a carpool lane diamond or something like that is somewhere and they're, they're getting onto the freeway some of their outfit is like hanging outside the the window of the vehicle but it was easier to discern what a clown looking at the ocean would be it doesn't take a lot of time for someone to focus on it so that's what we ended up going with but very happy with it very happy with the response and all, this this goes in our emotional catalog. This this is a part of a legacy as Ginkgo Balboa, but this is also something I'm personally proud of because it really shows how we were able to write a new page in our book and keep things interesting. And I take my favorite artists and bands and I think about their cover art for their releases, what the songs mean, how those two correlate. And Ben is the mastermind behind the way our designs are executed. We have photos and people we work with, of course, and he and I have an open dialogue about things as they're happening. And I try to illustrate my ideas verbally so he knows how I'm seeing them and then executes accordingly. But He's the one that makes those designs pop with what's at his disposal and his know-how technologically and beyond. And I'm so proud of all of our cover art pieces, just as I would prefer to be for my favorite artists. And Balloon Duty is the next notch in that belt. And when this journey is over as Ginkgo Balboa, if that ever happens, I want a giant poster framed of every single cover art we've ever had. So yeah, I hope that was cool to listen to and, and provided some insight. I hope that everyone at home, work, wherever you are, enjoys Balloon Duty. Thank you, Music OT Future, for having me. And you can find our music at G-I-N-K-G-O. B A L B O A dot com and Balloon Duty is available wherever you get your music.
Peace.